Hello dear viewers, friends, whatever, and welcome back to Mosh Pit 2.0. Uh, no, for real though. Um, we're just gonna dive right in. I said last episode we'd be fighting the Dami Group Mommy, and so we shall. Yeah, we're just we're just gonna go right in. Probably not gonna do anything else in this video today. I, I don't know what else we would even do. Uh, oh, am I on the right creature? Yes, I think so. Um, but yeah, I figured let's let's clear these two weaker bosses out. Uh, although this one is significantly stronger than the last one. So um, yeah, hopefully it won't be quite as much of a joke as the Megapithecus was because. That was embarrassing. That was terrible. Uh, that's not the creature I want to be on. Ooh. Uh oh. By the way, if you find yourself enjoying this video, uh, do me a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment, turn on notifications, all that good stuff and more. Spiders, get out of here. I will give it this. Uh, he's lasting a bit longer than I thought he would, but... Yeah, Brute Dami, Brute Mommy, nothing. Still, still a disappointment. Although, I'll give, him, I'll give, her, I'll give her credit. You know, she's, she's managing to put out some damage. Oh, here comes the Dinotherium buff. This is where it gets absolutely disgusting. And once again, this is the exact same army we used before, and boom, done. That is the bait of Dami Brew Mummy down for the count. Let's go. I only got 56 element for that. Come on. Let's take a quick minute and look around this arena. I never really did. Oh, wow, it's got some dwarvish, dwarvish stuff going on in here. But, yeah, no, I uh, found out, indeed, that the um, other um, arenas for the dragon and the Megapithecus are also new, specifically for this map, which, uh, you know, I didn't know. I, I was mistaken when I said before that, nah, this is... It's like, nah, this is nothing. No, it's not nothing. It's, uh... No, I mean, when I said that they had the same arenas, they do not. Um, I think the Dragons is the most similar to its original one, but it is not the same. Um, none of them are quite the same. So, here we go. Alright, once again, we're going to pause it here. Oh, I actually got to stay on my mount this time. Okay. Cool. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and see... Uh-oh. Okay, we're going to turn off passive healing on the pig right now, or on the Deodon, sorry. And let her get her, uh, get her food back up. So let's see how much damage everyone took for that. Uh, for some reason, this acro has, uh, three pairs of shoes. Oh, wow, yeah, nobody really got hurt there. <laughs> okay, you got hurt a little bit. Yeah, I'm just going through this, um, yeah. Alright, this is where things get a little scary. By the way, if you want to know what the ingredients are, go ahead and pause the video a few seconds ago and you'll see them. But, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, where? 
Where's the puzzle? Where's the puzzle? You must find the puzzle. There. Uh, puzzle located. Like I said, this is where things get dicey. Might lose some creatures here. Might lose some creatures. But again, nothing we cannot replace later with even stronger creatures. Uh-oh. Uh Where things get uh, get scary. You can see that she's able to do some pretty scary damage there. That being said, uh, the the peeps are hitting her, so they are wearing her down. See if I can't take some of the aggro from these spiders off. Although they hit pretty damn hard themselves. Yeah, I don't like the hit bump, the amount of damage I'm taking from this boss. We're gonna back off a little bit. Oh, one of my aggros is actually raging. Shit. Yeah, we're probably gonna lose some for this fight. But yeah, this is about all you could do when you're fighting any of the alphas, like I Stay there, and yeah, that yeah, that ND is gonna go down in a bit. ND 2.0 is gonna die. That's uh, okay. I'll make another one. <laughs> okay, yep, there it is. And a tragic loss, but you know, it seems ND is fated to to die as she is in the movie. Ugh. Although it means I do have to go artifact hunting again. Oh well, I was going to have to regardless. Get fucked. This is a sad thing that we lost an indie, uh, lost an indie, but uh, you know, not unexpected. I figured I was, I figured I was going to lose two or three creatures, but. Hey, I'm glad we didn't. God, I'm not looking forward to the dragon fight. Alright, you know what? There is something else we can do for a little bit this episode. I'd like to RTB, and uh, from there, you know, we can go figure everything out. You can see, uh, we took some damage. The, um, the u Tyrannus took some damage. Miss Fluffles. She got hurt a little bit from that. Um, let's see who else got hurt. I know some of my acros raged, which is uh, definitely uh, definitely a sign. They took some hefty damage. Okay, Pele. Pele didn't get hurt all that badly. Um, yeah, I think Indy took the brunt of the damage there because of where she was in relation to the boss. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna go around and see what kind of damage my creatures were taking. Yeah, this acro here got pretty beat up. Uh, yeah. Oof. Nurse Joy is out of food. Alright, we're gonna disable passive healing and put her away. Let's see, you're fine. Yeah, some of these guys aren't hurt at all. I know that one of the Dynatherium wasn't really participating. Like, it was just happy to be there. But... It did roar. We did get the Dynatherium roar to go off, which is always a good thing. But 
But there you go. Our second alpha boss down for the count. Gotta say, I'm pretty happy with these results. It is again a shame that we lost a uh, an Indominus Rex or a Domination Rex, but also again, it happens. That's what this army is for. You know? You will take losses in war. <laughs> But yeah, here we go. We got our Spoder flags. We actually got two of them, but uh, I'm going to have to take those home. But yeah, we can go home and do some decorating, I think. Keep things nice and simple. Ugh. Man, that feels good. That feels really good to get that out of the way. Uh. Alright. We're going to cut away and uh, we will continue this conversation when we're back at base. Oop. Alrighty, and we have returned to base just long enough for me to do some quick updates and uh, go over some decoration thingies that I've been working on. Uh, as you can see, the fire pit is now finished. I need to put a tables and benches, tables and chairs around it, but other than that, nearly done. Need to put some wood in there so I can actually ignite it. You know, maybe do some cooking with that in addition to our lovely uh, cooking station and grill over here. Um, also, yeah, I uh, put the uh, dermises on the um, for the alphas. For the alphas, as you can see right here, um, Broodmother Lystrix Alpha Alpha Dermis, right? But it still looks like the Gamma, so I guess it just defaults to their like canon appearance, which I believe is the Gamma version, because all the alphas are just red. Like all the alphas are just the same thing but red, so I don't know that it matters. Um, uh, yeah, I actually like the red a little bit more on both of them, though. As you can see, I really like it on the Megapithecus. He actually looks mean. He actually looks mean and nasty and not just, like, really concerned. Oh, come here, Cammy. Also figured now is as good a time as any to update on the base. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm still thinking about those, uh, those tips, tricks, and experiments things. Those shorts that I want to do. I'm, like, looking for ways I can improve and implement them. Um. But, yeah, let's, uh, take a look at what mutation we're up to on our acros real quick. Uh. We are up to 50 melee, 3 HP. So, that's good. Let's, uh, get on to the next. Yeah, all our stuff has been making progress lately. I'm very happy about that. Uh. Always good to see it. Actually, let me pick up uh, Leroy Jenkins. And yes, I do still have that plan in mind for the Meganeera. I just need to test out to see if it'll work. So we'll get to that soon, hopefully. Um, love to show that off on camera. That's going to be fun. That's going to be a fun episode. Okay, as you can see, we're up to 2 HP and 3 melee on our Dinotherium, which is a lot more than we had last time. I think we had two mutations last time. <laughs> uh, and over here... Oh my god. Over here you will see we are up to 5 melee on our Theries, and that's about all that we're going to... Yeah, you know, we're only focused on melee on them right now. And over here with the Shadow Mains. Uh, 4 HP, 6 melee. So we're definitely getting up there in mutations. I don't know what the hell we're up to on the Velanosaurs. I haven't checked in a bit. But I'm also doing some breeding with these Griffins just for fun. Kraken's Better Dinos uh, makes them breedable, which is always lovely. I put the flags for our for the fight against Megapithecus and uh, against Dami Brood Mommy over here. Uh, so yeah, just to, uh, abandon all hope, ye who entered these premises. Ah. Uh. Oh right, there's one more thing I want to do to round off the episode. So, you ever imagine what it'd be like if you put 50 Rexes on a uh, 
on a little plateau? Well, here's your answer. And courtesy of what I have come to call the Breeding Pyramid. Um, yeah, there you go. We got Rex's breeding like crazy. And we're already up to... We've only been just recently starting... Started it. We're already up to three melee mutations. Like, I'm a very happy man with that one. Let me tell you. But yeah, lots of plans in the cooker. Lots of stuff to do. Um... As far as the dragon boss is concerned, I still think we're a little ways off from finishing off that. Um, but yeah. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. If you um, if you did, please do again do me a favor. Hit that uh, like button, subscribe, turn on notifications for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. This has been TBT, signing out. Bye.